Are drones the future of daily transport? Unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs commonly known as drones, are rapidly growing in popularity and are used mainly for entertainment. Although they are still in the infancy stage in terms of mass adoption and usage, drones have already broken through rigid traditional barriers and the unmanned aerial vehicles could one day be the future of daily transport. Here is everything you need to know about drone technology and the possibility of the machine being the future of daily transport. To get the most interesting facts, make sure not to skip it. And let's get down to it. Drones have been around for more than two decades, but their roots date back to World War I when France and U.S. worked on developing automatic unmanned airplanes. But the last years have been significant in terms of drone adoption, usage expansion across industries, and global awareness. From technically manning sensitive military areas to luring hobbyists throughout the world, drone technology has developed and prospered in the last years. Individuals, commercial entities, and governments have come to realize that drones have multiple useful features. Already, civilian drones can vary widely in size and complexity. They can carry a range of items from high-resolution cameras for collecting views of the world from above, delivery mechanisms, and thermal image technology to speakers and scanners. Farmers use drones to survey their crops. Utilities use them to inspect power lines. Oil and gas companies fly them to examine offshore equipment. And insurance companies send up drones to map damage after storms. Drones are also used by TV producers and filmmakers to collect sweeping aerial footage and by the fire service to tackle fires that could endanger firefighters. Even during the coronavirus pandemic, drones were used by the police to enforce lockdown. But as technologies and regulations evolve, so do use cases. One opportunity in particular stands out, which is transportation. Drones may be part of our everyday life in the very near future, as they will serve as new means of mobility and transport routes. This means that drones can serve as the future of daily transports, as drones will enable faster transportation of people, as they can be used as private vehicles and air taxis. And there's a reason that drones are the next frontier for transportation. Whether you're moving cargo or passengers, the road isn't the most inefficient place for it, as traffic congestion is a real constraint. This is evident in every major city in the world, as it can take a longer time to travel just mere miles. Instead of living with the limitations imposed by a two-dimensional world, what's needed is a third dimension of mobility, which is exactly what drones promise to create. In April 2019, the FAA granted the first ever federal approval to make commercial deliveries by drone. And since then, delivery companies and e-commerce giants have received similar approvals, which allow them to use drones to deliver small packages to customers' doorsteps. That kind of service could yield extraordinary benefits for consumers by increasing access to medicine, groceries, and more in urban as well as rural communities. And it's not just last mile delivery that drones will transform. It will also transform middle mile logistics thanks to the advent of heavy duty autonomous cargo aircraft that can move between warehouses up to 1,000 pounds or more of goods. Then, there's transportation of people instead of cargo and parcels. Although flying passenger drones have always sounded like science fiction, Jay Merkel, executive director of the FAA's UAS Integration Office, has said that the FAA this year will likely grant its first ever certification of an urban air mobility aircraft, a vertical takeoff and landing air taxi that passengers will be able to aboard at hubs known as vertiports. Located on top of office buildings, shopping centers, or parking structures, they'll enable fast flights over short distances. That means a business traveler who currently spends an hour in traffic driving to the airport will be able to fly there in minutes, then board a traditional commercial jet and will take them to their final destination. Time savings aren't the only benefit. Drones will be cleaner and quieter than traditional helicopters. Plus, they'll replace some commercial cars and trucks, which means they'll also have a positive impact on traffic and, as a result, urban quality of life. The drone-powered future is a powerful proposition, and it's not as far away as you might think. Within a matter of years, it could be as normal to see passengers in urban airspace as it is to see birds and bees. Recently, flying vehicles are becoming a reality as several companies have been developing passenger drones and have announced dates for the expected trial and commercial launch of their passenger drones. Some companies have even unveiled their passenger drone, so the technology and product development of passenger drones seems to be progressing rapidly. The conceptualization of passenger drones or flying cars is no longer a new trend, as development in this area was started way back in the 1980s. Since then, several companies have launched different prototypes that are capable of vertical takeoff and landing. In June of 2019, Melbourne was revealed as Uber's first international Uber Air pilot city. The Australian city will join Dallas and Los Angeles in the United States as pilot cities for the Uber Air program, which aims to begin flight tests by 2020 and plans to commence commercial operation from 2023. Uber is not the only one. Several other companies, including aircraft and automobile manufacturers and various new startups, have unveiled their passenger drones. Ehang, a Chinese-based startup, tested its autonomous quadricopter passenger drone, Ehang 184, in January of 2018. 
The company conducted over 1,000 flights with human passengers, carrying a total weight of 230 kilograms over 15 kilometers. The tests also include a vertical climb of over 300 meters. EHang 184 is a low-altitude autonomous aerial vehicle, which can offer medium to short distance transport. EHang 184 runs on electric batteries, and it can carry a single passenger weighing up to 100 kilograms at a time for a 23-minute flight using its eight propellers on four arms. The single passenger drone is designed to cruise at an altitude of 500 meters off the ground, with a maximum altitude of 3.5 kilometers. EHang 184 can also fly at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, covering up to 64 kilometers on a single charge. The passenger drone can be fully charged in two hours. The passenger can get the drone to stop and hover in place if needed. For any malfunction or disconnect of EHang 184 components, the vehicle would land in the nearest possible area, ensuring passenger safety. Another startup that is involved in the development of passenger drones is a German company called Volocopter. Previously named eVolo, Volocopter tested its multi-copter passenger drone Volocopter 2X in 2017. The drone is a two-seater, 18-motor unmanned electric flying vehicle which can fly autonomously or operated using a joystick and assistive systems for support. Volocopter 2X can fly at a maximum speed of 100 kilometers per hour, covering up to 27 kilometers on a single charge. Passenger drones in an urban environment can be used for intra-city flights, which will replicate the business model of conventional ride-hailing services, where a customer wants to reach from one point to another within single city limits. These flights would typically cover a distance of up to 50 kilometers, can also be used as airport shuttles, which would provide a faster mode of transportation to customers wanting to reach the airport on time to catch their flight. The launch and landing pads for airport shuttles would be strategically located across the city and at the airport, where customers can book their seats for a fixed route. It can also be used for inner-city flights, which would cover trips between adjacent cities, which are too close for a viable aviation link. The emergence of passenger drones is witnessed as a major trend in the mobility sector, transforming the way people move around. This new class of vehicle can play an important role in the mobility sector, as they are fast and provide an efficient alternative to clogged land transportation. In the long term, passenger drones can become an attractive and competitive substitute for covering distances greater than 30 kilometers, as they require relatively fewer infrastructure investments as compared to the already available air transport systems. Drones can save a significant amount of passenger time as compared to taxis, buses, and metros, becoming the fastest urban mobility option. All these useful features of drones show that drones are emerging as the future of daily transport, and it's just a matter of time before we see several flying passenger drones all over cities. However, to achieve the fastest urban mobility status, passenger drones should have reasonable fares and offer a safe travel experience. And what do you think of drones as the future of daily transport? Do you like the video? Let's hear your views or opinions via the comment section down below. And now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel, and I'll meet you there.